Lugansk, a city of half a million people in eastern Ukraine, has reportedly come under government shelling, leaving one dead and others wounded. Kiev, though, says it had nothing to do with the bombardment. It insists the anti-government fighters, those it calls terrorists, shell the city they already control. The two sides have also been skirmishing elsewhere, with Ukrainian tanks brought into action. It's all feeding a refugee exodus in the east. People are fleeing to other cities, temporary camps, and even abroad, wherever they perceive to be safe. Maria Finashina met some of those who've made their escape. They have packed only the basics, mostly warm clothes to keep the children warm. They were forced to leave their hometown of Krematorsk in Rush. Women, children, men, entire families. It wasn't an easy decision. Они постоянно стреляют каждую ночь, а ты прячешься в подвале и молишься Богу, чтобы тебя не пристрелили, чтобы вот это вот не попало все в тебя, чтобы твоя семья осталась живая. It's hard to say how many people have fled Kramatorsk, the city that's been the target of Kiev's military operation for months. Even when the army raised the Ukrainian flag over the town, the refugees kept on coming. You want to come back? Many of those who have fled were forced to leave their relatives behind. Larissa's husband is still in Kramatorsk. Russia is the closest safe haven for many Ukrainian refugees. The UN says 100,000 have crossed the border into Russia, a figure the country's federal migration says could be four times higher. But crossing the border could be dangerous. Fighting for numerous checkpoints is fierce, and there are reports of civilians being caught in the crossfire or even targeted themselves. Here, a car drives up to a border post, but is forced to turn around by heavy fire. The family we spoke to had to change their plans after seeing just how hard it was even to get close to the checkpoint. They decided to try their luck at another crossing, but asked us not to join them, worried would attract unnecessary attention. We continue the journey alone. It used to be the Ukrainian checkpoint, but as you can see now, it's abandoned. There is absolutely nobody here. The cars cross freely, as you can see. The Ukrainian border guards left the Russian side of the checkpoint, Severny or Northern, at the Ukrainian-Russian border. People here cross day and night. As you can see, there are many of them running from violence in their motherland. This is one of few places along this frontier where there are no clashes. But people are jittery, worried fighting could break out here as well at any moment. The border and the safety beyond it is now just steps away. But just when or even if these people will be able to go home is far from clear. Marif Noshnati in eastern Ukraine. Now, Maria is also active on her Twitter account, where she's publishing pictures and reports of what she encounters while in eastern Ukraine. Feel free to follow her there.